Ugh. Let's take the flower path. <laughs> Looks like we're talking about fruit witches. Now, fruit witches are pretty obscure. They are rare and as such aren't encountered very often, usually holding up camp in unique areas such as abandoned castles and dungeons. So as per usual, let's start with the appearance and behavior. Now, there are two versions of them. The bait version that I call them, which are their false forms to get adventurers to let down their guard and their true form, which they show when an opportunity to feed becomes clear. As for their bait form, it's pretty straightforward. Fruit witches thrive on allure and getting their prey to relax, while in in their false form, they usually appear as basic women, usually showing above average amounts of skin, most often with some kind of dress or ribbons covering parts of their body. Their skin is also always a light shade of green, with their eyes following suit with their pupils being akin to a reptile. They also always possess a small creature that possesses a slight smile. In terms of the behavior of the fruit witch while she takes this form, they have a tendency to float through the air with some level of grace, usually coming in contact with the adventurer in question while trying to persuade them to consume the fruit. Additionally, they seem to be capable of producing illusions, while trying to tempt their prey that is, with the area they are found in being bright and filled with colors and various flowers. They will also go out of their way in order to ensure that the fruit they present is to the person's liking, usually having it be decorated across a well-made table. Now I say this here and now, no dungeon, regardless of presentation, has ready food for guests to eat. There is always something wrong if you see such a thing, such as various monsters, just like in this scenario. On the off chance that a creature eats the fruit, all hell will break loose. For one, the creatures will quickly transform into whatever fruit they ended up consuming. The other noticeable change is that the fruit witches will transform into their true forms. When this happens, you are screwed. Their true form is quite different. Their skin and eyes lose their color, instead becoming a pale pigment. Their eyes lose their pupils and become empty white spheres. Additionally, the small companion that they carry with them completely fuses with their head, and additionally takes on a much more threatening appearance, with it gaining jagged teeth and red glowing eyes. As for behavior, if these witches transform, that means it is already too late for at least someone. When a creature consumes the fruit, they don't just transform into the fruit, roots and vines sprout out of their eyes and throat, causing a very painful transformation, as their flesh and body take on the shape and appearance of the fruit. Yes, I said appearance. As we see inside the fruit and the torn pieces, there is still bone and flesh that make up the new fruit. Additional things to take note is that the area around them will no longer be alluring. The petals that filled the air will quickly rot into black decomposed plant matter. With their cover blown, any remaining witnesses are also not to be spared, as they become completely hostile to any and all things nearby and will pursue their newfound prey with insane speed after devouring the original victim. As for combating them, well, there are definitely a decent number of ways in dealing with them. The first is just not eating the fruit. So far, they have only shown hostility after someone consumed the fruit in question. Possible that if you just ignore them and walk past the fruit, you will survive without a hitch, but it's also just as likely that they become hostile anyway and attempt to eat you. Unfortunately, I can't give you a straight answer because sending researchers into dungeons and expecting to hear back is rare enough, and I don't feel like searching for months to find a dungeon that has one of these guys, so until further data is gained, take this method with a grain of salt. Another way of dealing with them surprisingly is by getting them to eat their own fruit, meaning that you can force feed one and it will immediately result in their death. Do be aware, however, this method only works if you are only dealing with one. If there are multiple, you will agitate all of them, and considering that they are both fast and surprisingly strong, that is not a good idea. It will provide you about 30 seconds to run, though. Lastly, if you decide to fight them head-on, I would recommend using a long-range weapon or spells. I say this mainly because they can tear through flesh in seconds, and though normal weaponry should work, close melee with these gals seems like a death wish. Sensory warfare is also entirely acceptable. Anyway, that's all I got for this entry into the Ooh Bestiary. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to my patrons on Patreon, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.